Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the star of Chanel's Leblanc 2021 makeup collection and this is the illuminating blush powder Perle de Lumière or this is pearls of light and I think that this is the star of this year's Leblanc makeup collection. I still don't have the other pieces from Leblanc's makeup collection but I'm definitely going to try and pick a few more pieces from this collection but for now I only have this one. So today I'm going to show you how it looks on my fair skin because this is quite a yellowish highlighter. I'm going to talk about the performance of this highlighter because this is not the first time that I'm using it and I'm going to create a look using only this highlighter. I'm going to give you some comparison swatches. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I love talking about luxury beauty and fragrances and I do my best to show you the latest luxury beauty news and releases. And I like to share with you my honest opinions about luxury beauty products. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to subscribe and join our lovely beauty community. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I try to post on a daily basis and check out my blog at angelavanrose.com. Now let's get started with this one. I'm going to show you a close-up of this beautiful highlighter and, and according to Chanel this is illuminating blush powder. Now to me it looks like a highlighter but today I'm going to show you how it looks on my cheeks also used as a blush. Chanel's 2021 Leblanc makeup collection was inspired by the pearls of Chanel and it's a little bit strange that here we have this actually yellow highlighter. I was expecting pearlescent white highlighter but I think this one is really beautiful. I think this is a collectible piece and you can see the beautiful embossing with the pearls and the CC logo. I really like this piece and I think that this piece is absolutely gorgeous. But today I'm going to show you how you can use it if you have fair skin like me. I think that this piece is going to be suitable for all skin tones and if you like, if you're a Chanel lover, this is definitely a collectible piece that I think every Chanel lover would be very happy to have in his or her makeup collection. So in this video I'm going to focus, I'm going to show you how this looks on my face and how you can actually make this work on if you have fair skin like me. I have quite pale skin as you can see. So um, depending on your skin tone you will be able to use this as highlighter or as eyeshadow. I think that as eyeshadow, I'm also today I'm going to use this piece as eyeshadow and I'm going to show you ways to make the best of this beautiful highlighter. A lot of people were saying that this is actually a repromote of the Chanel highlighter in warm gold. I don't have the Chanel highlighter in warm gold so I cannot compare and I cannot say if this is a repromote or not but on Chanel's website they claim that this is an exclusive creation for this makeup collection. So Chanel claimed that this is actually an exclusive creation and it's not a repromote. I would believe Chanel and I would say that this is probably an exclusive creation really indeed. But for sure Chanel have similar shades, similar highlighters in their permanent collection, which I don't have because I usually try to stay away from golden highlighters. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to show you how it looks on my face. And of course, this highlighter actually comes with this cute little brush, but I usually don't use these brushes. I use them when I don't have a clean brush or something. They are really comfortable, but I usually don't use them. So first of all, I'm going to apply this as um, traditional highlighter just right here. It just catches the light but in such a subtle Chanel kind of way that it looks absolutely beautiful. So now if I start building up the color it's definitely going to show its yellow color so I can only use it as a very subtle highlighter and it does work for my skin. But I have to be very light-handed and I have to use it very lightly. Now since Chanel advertised this product as illuminating blush I'm definitely going to try it and I'm, show I'm going to show you how it looks on my skin used as a blush. And I have already tried this. It's not a first impression review. So it does work for a pale skin tone like me. It does work like a blush. A couple of years ago, Dior released a similar blush with their Lucky Star collection. It was a holiday collection that um, had a very similar highlighter, which I couldn't find right now. I have it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And it was a very similar highlighter, but it was more shimmery than this one. And actually, I loved how it looked on my cheeks. 
Now this one, you're going to see, I can use it as a blush. I can use it as illuminating blush. Okay, so there we have it used as a blush all over my cheek, this cheek. And the Chanel described this product as rosy champagne color, and they're actually right. First of all, when I look at this, I only see the yellow, but then if I look very closely, it does have a touch of rosy color in it. So it is exactly like a rosy champagne. It, I think it's a very interesting color that I would absolutely use as a blush. Now, this is not your typical blush that is going to be very visible. I have already worn this as a blush and I have to tell you that I'm in love with the way it looks on my cheeks. It is definitely very subtle as a blush. This is for that kind of very subtle look that only when I tilt my head, people are going to see a touch of rosiness and a lot of light. So this is, if you love really that kind of a very glowy, very kind of almost like a glass skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this on my eyes as well, because it looks beautiful on the eyes. And then I'm going to be back with my final thoughts and some comparison swatches. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I absolutely love it, if I have to be honest. So I'm not sure how this is going to look on camera, but I absolutely love the final result and I absolutely love how this highlighter looks on my eyes. I know that this is one of this is going to be one of my most used products for the summer and for the spring. I think this piece is seasonless and if you only want to add one piece to your collection, I think that you shouldn't miss this one unless you have something that is very similar in your makeup collection, but I definitely don't have anything similar in my makeup collection. I don't have anything that looks so beautiful on my cheeks because I really like the idea of this quite extraordinary blush, if you want. So for sure this blush is not going to be for everyone. I'm sure that not everyone is going to be willing to wear this kind of blush, but I absolutely love it. It's so pretty because it doesn't look like a blush. It's seen, it's visible as a blush only when I tilt my head a little bit. So I absolutely love this effect. It's something different. It's something that I don't have in my makeup collection. Okay guys, so now this is natural light and I'm very close to the window. I want to show you how the highlighter looks in natural light. So let me show you a swatch on my finger. And you can see this beautiful shift of color, which actually looks very beautiful when applied on the cheeks. And I think that's exactly what Chanel wanted to achieve. They wanted this to be illuminating blush and not really. So I'm gonna do two swatches next to each other. Okay, so now I'm going to compare this highlighter to a few other highlighters that I have and I think that they are quite interesting. So the first one is going to be this highlighter from the Spring Makeup Collection, which is obviously a lot more pinkish, kind of a peachy color, actually not pinkish, but peachy color. And I'm going to have these two 
right here. So you can see on my index finger, they are quite different, but still I want to show them to you because this is the spring highlighter, which is still new, and this is the LeBlanc highlighter. So on my middle finger is the LeBlanc, and obviously on my index finger is the highlighter from the spring makeup collection. So this is the LeBlanc Illuminating Blush Powder, and this is from the spring makeup collection. Excuse my nails, guys. I know I have to do them, but just didn't have the time. So yes, you can see that they are quite different. Next, I want to swatch one of my favorite highlighters, and this is the Guerlain Trio highlighter. This is the Meteorite highlighter, which is one of my favorites, and it has three different colors. So I'm going to be swatching the pink one and the peachy one, because they... might be similar. You can see that the shimmer here is a lot less pronounced. So this has doesn't have shimmer. The Guerlain highlighters don't have shimmer. They have almost like a satin finish. So this is the pink one, which I love. And this is the peachy. And actually I'm gonna swatch a little bit more the peachy highlighter so that you can really see how it looks. So this also, I'm swatching the Guerlain highlighter because also the Guerlain highlighter can be used on the cheeks, especially the peachy shade can be used on the cheeks. I personally don't like to use it on the cheeks because it doesn't give me the same beautiful um, color as this one, as the Chanel one. So the Guerlain highlighter, I only use it on my eyes and I use it also as highlighter. Another one that I want to show you is last year's spring highlighter from Dior, which was actually like a blush and a highlighter, again, this kind of interesting color. And this is in Dior Nude Luminizer Glow Vibes in number 002 Coral Vibes. So this is this one, um, almost like a sunset color. That's what I like to call it. So here is this highlighter. And this is all natural light, you guys. That's why it's changing a little bit because it's a little bit cloudy and it ha we have sun also. So that's why the light is changing because I don't have any additional light. Then I want to swatch also the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Face and Body Highlighter, which a lot of you I know love. I didn't like it, to be honest. It's not one of my favorite highlighters, but still um, I just have it. You know that this highlighter was not with me for a very long time, but I just got this. So this is how it looks. And then last but not least, I wanted to swatch also the um, Camellia highlighter from Chanel. This used to be a limited edition, but it looks like it's almost permanent because almost all the time um, they have it on Chanel.com. And it has two colors. It has gold and platinum. And this one is a lot more shimmery, but it's one of my all-time favorite highlighters, and that's why I decided that I'm going to swatch it for you. I'm also going to swatch the two colors together. So on my ring finger are the two colors together, and I want to swatch them also for you. I'm going to swatch them right here. So this is the platinum, the yellow. Okay, so I want to show you all the colors. And I remind you that this is the new limited edition illuminating blush powder from Chanel. And once again, the light is coming from the window, so I don't have any artificial lights, any softbox or anything like that. The light is coming only from the window and I'm sitting very close to the window right now. The highlighters that I showed you now, I really like them. However, this one is my favorite to be used as a blush. And also I like this one very, very much, but they are quite different. So this one has a lot more color and obviously has a highlighter. Okay guys, now just one more thing before I end this video. Keep in mind that I have neutral undertones because I know that a lot of you think that I have cool undertones. No, actually I have neutral undertones. So for me, both warm colors and cool colors work quite nicely. So I'm quite uni universal. So keep that in mind. Though I'm not sure if you're very cool, 
um, and if you have a lot of redness in your skin I'm not sure how this is going to how the highlighter is going to look on you but I think that it's quite universal I think that actually this shade is universally flattering and universally beautiful. Probably if you have a um, much deeper skin tone than me, this one is going to look better used as a highlighter, not as a blush. And if you're pale like me, you can see that it actually does look like a blush, like a beautiful, very extraordinary blush. So that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.